Hello guys, welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video we're going to see how to make texture mods for GTA 4 on the PS3. And to get things started you will need a couple of programs. You will need Spark IV to open uh, and uh, edit the RPF archives. Then you will need the, the GTA 5 texture editor and the paint.net to open and edit the images and uh, the GTA 4 exe file to find the decryption keys for the RPF archives. So open up Spark IV and select the folder where you have uh, located the gta4.exe file then open the rpf archive that you want to edit I'm going to edit the uh, ps3.rpf because it contains Nikos clothes and that's what I want to modify so I'm going to find the player pad.rpf archive and I'm going to export it to the desktop uh, here and then I'm going to open it. From here I'm going to export the upper diff 00A which is the default outfit of Nico. I'm going to export it to the desktop and uh, once it's exported you can open the texture editor and uh, find the texture. So here it is. Uh, note, uh, every uh, texture file ends with CTD and that stands for Cell Texture Dictionary. So now, export the texture, you can click the icon here or the text box at the bottom. So, export it. So once the texture is exported, uh, you can open paint.net and uh, drag and drop the texture. So open the image. Here you can modify the texture, replace it completely or just make simple edit so I'm just going to put this logo on the back hold shift while resizing so you can uh, maintain the aspect ratio I'm going to put it here just to just as a showcase and uh, now you can save the texture so save it as a dark draw surface DDS Replace it if he asks to replace the file. And uh, here you will see a menu where you need to configure the settings to export the texture. So you want to open the console texture editor and look at the texture format. So here it says DXT1. So you can select BC1 linear DXT1. Um, use the perceptual error metric and uh, remove the tick here at cube map for cross image and generate me maps click ok and save the image it will ask to flatten it you can just click yes and uh, now you can return to the texture editor and import the new texture so you've got the texture and to edit the me maps you just need to click here where it says meet model level and uh, click the right arrow so uh, here you just need to resize the image so control r 256 ok save and import the texture again so meet map do the same process for every meet map level so Once you have completed importing the mipmap levels, you can check the work you have done. So, yeah, I have the texture. And uh, once it's all good for you, you can just click save and uh, close the texture editor and import the texture back into the archive. So, imagepaint.net, open Spark IV, and click on import. Then select the texture you want to import, CTD here, you're going to see a blue outline uh, when a file is replaced and here you can just click save to save the archive, the archive has been saved, now you can reopen the ps3.rpf archive, 
find the CD images folder and import the player pad.rpf archive back in. So save again. Now you can close Spark IV and test out the mod uh, that you just made. So guys, here we are on my PS3 and um, I've already copied the files with Multiman and uh, USB drive. So uh, while the game launches, I need to tell you that in the description there are some uh, useful informations about other file formats found in GTA 4 and uh, some uh, specific procedures that you need to follow in order to convert some textures. We are now in the game guys and um, as you can see the texture has been modded successfully and uh, let's go outside so we can see better and uh, here we go so uh, if you found this uh, tutorial useful leave a like and uh, if you didn't just leave a dislike and uh, see you guys in the next video